Hello guys and welcome back to another part in my analog DIY synthesizer tutorial stroke sort of talk through videos. Um, what I'm going to be covering as quick as I can but as, uh, as thoroughly as I can is my post VCA wave folder circuit. So this is my schematic here and if I show you what it was based on this is the Kenstone simple wave folder. So what you have your audio signal goes in goes into a gain stage if you like or you can just go straight in and we have a PNP NPN transistor couple of resistors plus rail minus rail and we come out go into another gain stage and basically your wave folded signal will come out so depending you see this uh, trimmer here depending on how much you that will be the signal drive that will kind of determine the amount of fold you will get what I found was I changed my my um, transistors for a 2N3906 and a 3904 for the NPN. So if I quickly draw you a basic cell that I used. So if we go, let me just change that quickly. So if we go to the voltage plus and then we come out and then we'll go into a what I use was an 18k resistor so 18k sorry these pens are getting a little bit too thick for me um, so 18k resistor on the plus and that will go into the emitter of the PMP remember the PMP transistor the emitter points up towards the base a collector comes out and then we have the base here so this is our 2n sorry about my ginormous hands 3096 which is a pnp and then we link the collector to the collector of the npn negative positive negative which is a 2N3904. So why did I use a 2N3906 and a 3904? Well, I found by, I did experiment with quite a lot of transistors that really try and optimize the uh, circuit to get the, the, the best sort of, the, the better amount of folds and as much folds as I could through the stages I had. So we link the uh, two bases together and then we will go into the 18k another set of 18k's down to the plus rail from the NPN so again that's an 18k and then the output comes from the two collectors and we'll send that into the inverting side of an operational amplifier and send the non-invert inside down to ground and we have a gain so this you can kind of tailor this to taste these resistors here and I'll just, just call it RT resistor for taste mm, yummy anyway so also which is optional is to have a capacitor here. I, I ended up using the capacitor basically just to filter off some of the noise. So you probably need a low, quite a low value capacitor otherwise you'll take too much off, off your signal. So just to sort of take out, I found the transistors to be quite noisy. So, you know, anything from say 100 picofarads to a couple of nanofarads. So let's just say 2.2. NF for instance 2.2 nanofarads so yeah like I said again this one try and I, I, I try and give you give you guide values on what I did and what works for me but this is not you know gospel you must you know it has to be these precise values it's all about 
experimenting. As I said, I'm not an electronics engineer. I'm not an electronics expert. I just sort of do what I've done, you know, through learning things by trying things out, failing, and you know, trial and error, and see what's work, what works best for me. So this is where we'll have our audio input. So what I, I tend to use is triangle waves. I found it kind of works better on as I will show you on the later stage of the video. So yeah, and so what I would do with this wave folder stage is the output from the op amp, let's say out, out. I will send into another stage. So basically I repeat the input. So I will come from the output repeat this whole block stage again and come into another input and the more I, I found the more cells we put on that the more folds you get so if we look at my kind of pretty much final schematic here this shows you here we go and we have a saturation amount which is a drive amount which goes into the first um, wave folder stage as we can see there into our inverting sides of the op amp we come out and we go into another cell again and again and like I said I found the lower gain lower gain transistors you use the more folds you get I'll use the 2N3906 for the PMP the 2N3094 for the NPN and I also tweaked these and I've put 22k on here oh, I thought this was my final amount but I kind of thought, mm, how can I optimize this? So basically, how I did, I, I determined my values was by putting trimmers, taking out a couple of resistors and putting trimmers there and trimming it. But I also found the lower voltage I had because I used to have my my power rails at plus fifteen. I'm using um, a variable uh, power supply and I've taken them down to plus thirteen, and I found I've got a lot more it seems to re respond better so I've got a lot, a lot better folds so again just to remind you this is a post VCA wave folder and I have a blending potentiometer which is uh, RV3 which is one mega ohm so one side you turn it it will be dry the other side will give you the wave folded wet signal and we come out from the final stage of that um, quad, quad operational amplifier I only use the quad amplifier, I should really do this on a separate as my final output separate, but I have run out of space, so I've pretty much used the three, three, um, three of the amplifiers for the wave stages, wave folding stages, and the final one for the final output. And as we can see, that's our VCA volume. So you're probably thinking, well, could you see? You can CV control this, but the way I've kind of, it's kind of a bit of a cheat, really. So basically, you're using the input drive because I've done a post. Um, VCA wave folder your your wave folding your drive is determined by your signal input so my wave folder I can apply modulation obviously from the envelope or an LFO so you can sort of make that wave folding dynamic automatically dynamic with a modulation and yeah and that is about it so what I will do is now show you how the wave folder responds on the scope. Again, you can apply as many stages to this as you like, or even one stage if, you know, as your first experiment, tinker with it, play with values and see what works best for you.